Hello and welcome to my first attempt to use chat GPT and my 25 years of PMP prep experience to write three sample PMP test questions and for me to explain the right and wrong answers. Let's get started with the first question. A project manager is leading a team to develop a new product for their company. The team has been working on the project for several months and is nearing the end of the development phase. The project manager has become convinced that their initial design for the product is the best option and is unwilling to consider any alternative designs or suggestions from the team. In this situation, what measurement pitfall is being displayed? Pause the video and answer the question. For me, I always look for keywords and phrases in the question. Convinced that their initial design is the best option, unwilling to consider alternatives, and we're looking for a measurement pitfall. I skim the four answers. All four answers are measurement pitfalls. So that idea of measurement pitfall doesn't really help me. So I go back to the other keywords and phrases. The best answer here is confirmation bias. This is the tendency of people to favor information that confirms their beliefs. These other answers are measurement pitfalls. We'll discuss them in future questions. Question two of three. In a recent project, the team was tasked with increasing website traffic. The project manager implemented a strategy to share links to the website on various social media platforms. And as a result, the website's page views increased by 50%. However, okay, always be careful when you see that word, however. It means something bad or negative or contradictory is gonna follow. However, upon further analysis, it was discovered that most of the website visitors were not potential customers and were only visiting the website for a short period of time. What term best describes the measurement pitfall in this situation? Pause the video and answer the question on your own. Let's talk about keywords and phrases in the question. The website's page views increased by 50%. Well, that sounds great. However, most of the visitors were not potential customers and were only visiting for a short period of time. So this increase, it doesn't really matter because it's not gonna help them with revenue. What term best describes the measurement pitfall? I skim the four answers. I realize answer C, leading indicator, is not a measurement pitfall, therefore it must be wrong. I go back to the other keywords or phrases in the question, and the best answer is vanity metric. This is a metric that shows data, but the data has little to no value. It's not valuable that we increase the traffic if the traffic is coming from visitors who are not potential customers. Let's go to the last of the three questions. You are the project manager for a new product development project. Your team has been working on the project for several months, and you've noticed that productivity has increased significantly since you started measuring and tracking their progress. However, again, the word however, you are unsure if the increase in productivity is a result of the changes you've made to the work environment or simply because the team is being monitored. Which of the following measurement pitfalls best explains the scenario? Pause the video and answer the question on your own. Begin by looking for keywords or phrases. Productivity has increased significantly. Well, that sounds great, but it started when we started measuring and tracking progress. Right away, I know the answer. We're looking for a measurement pitfall. 
I skim all four answers or measurement pitfalls. The correct answer is Hawthorne effect. Do you know what that means? It means individuals may modify their behavior in response to being observed. Another wrong answer was B, demoralization. I'll just share one idea related to this. Goals that are unrealistic may not help improve morale. In fact, they may have a negative effect. What do I wanna say in conclusion? At this point, I love chat GPT but it's clear, it's a tool, a very useful tool, but only a tool. It took me multiple times for chat GPT to come up with good questions. I still needed to change maybe 25% of the words in the question so that the question would be reflective of the PMP exam. I had to change some of the wrong answers so that the wrong answers would be reflective of wrong answers on the PMP exam. Yet, I have to say chat GPT is going to be a great tool for me to help me write sample questions quicker, questions that are realistic for the exam. And then I can use my 25 years of experience helping people prepare for the exam to tweak the questions and answers so they're realistic for the exam. Write some comments below. Come to my website if you're interested in free PMP training Thursday mornings or think about joining one of my paid programs. Again, thanks for coming today.